one, yeah, yeah, this yeah. one went for the middle head, and then the other one went for the slab grabber, but this... I'm on the frozen lakes in Co in Ontario, Canada. I'll be doing some ice fishing today and this is my very first time doing it. As you can see, these are like small huts and tents where people fish inside. I'll be sharing my overall experience doing it. Stick to the end of the video, there are tricks and tips from experts who actually do ice fishing for years. I literally wanted to try ice fishing for so long and I was looking in Google Maps for some of the fishing locations and I found this spot. I actually ran a hut from one of the local legend and they do shuttles from shore to the hut and back. Yeah, it's nice and warm inside, especially the weather is actually so good. Yeah, and there are like so many people on the lake. Probably I'll just go near them and say hi. in half and then uh, you put it right through the skull right yeah. right at the t hard part of their skull there yeah. it'll stay on for a lot longer than if you use uh, just the side of the body or something yeah. and then uh, if this ever does come off you can go to the tail because yeah. uh, I find perch like the uh, smaller pieces better yeah. than the bigger pieces yeah. so it's definitely a good tip for people yeah. and uh, yeah so um, it all depends on what you're going for there's a uh, panfish there's pike there's uh, walleye there's a bunch of different species. I find for panfish, you typically use a smaller hook and something that uh, flashes them, looks entertaining to them, something they want to eat, right? Yeah. Pike, you'd use a bigger bait for, yeah. and you'd mostly just let it sit there because they'll come in and swoop it out of nowhere. Yeah. Same thing with walleye. Uh, you will get some herring come through here sometimes, which yeah. is literally like you'll see them right above the holes and they'll just be big crowds and just come right through. Oh, yeah. They're only here for like 30 seconds, but once you get your hook on them, uh, you get enough herring, oh, yes. so. Eating fish. It's hard to say like where you fish here. Well, not so much you, it's you me. If you use braided line, yeah. it'll freeze and then you have to kind of unwind it yourself otherwise. Yeah, that's a problem. Nice. Oh man. That's an actual ocean right there. It's by myself, so. Yeah, what's that? What's the size of that? That one's about 13 inches, maybe 13 a pound. Inches? Pound and a half. Nice. And then I got a couple more in there. Oh yeah. I've been fishing this lake a lot. Another one. Oh yeah. Oh, they won't be in the car ride home. Oh, yeah, nice. Off two big ones? No, they were. 
was two other ones with it. And this oh, one, yeah, this yeah. one went for the minnow head, and then the other one went for the slab grabber. But this one has already had the minnow head in its mouth, so I'm like, I'm not losing this. <laughs>